Okay, alcohol and inks. We love them, love the colors, love the blends. However, we do have a sore spot and a lot of alcohol inks aren't light fast. So, time to experiment and see what we can do to help protect these things. Because, you know, creating art, making beautiful pieces, we'll make sure it lasts. Stay tuned. Howdy, howdy, everyone. So I'm gonna do a test. I don't normally do tests. Pardon my hands. I need to get my nails done with my mama. Anyway, I'm gonna do a test on alcohol ink. And I've heard a lot about alcohol ink not being light fast. In other words, it fades in light rather quickly. So I thought I would do a test and do some alcohol ink straight with no UV protection whatsoever. This one here with UV protection spray, this guy here in a matte so finish. And then this one here will have this spray, but it'll also have some UV resin on top of it. So that's the thing and then i'm going to go put this out in a week check it out and then check it out in two weeks and see what happens with this this ought to be a really interesting and since i have a print-based background in other words i used to do advertising and illustration and cmyk or in other words cyan yellow magenta and black um when you put those colors out in the sun some of them will fade faster than others. And so I thought I would start off with the basis, basics of those premise, or those colors, basically. So um, Pinata has a very distinctive uh, blue, yellow, and magenta that's very close to like CMY, or CMY. But I picked out, what, and this is just what I had on hand. So I picked out kind of an equivalent in Ranger on that. So I'm going to try uh, a band of Pinata, a band of Ranger, and a band of Copic. Now my Copic one isn't as close because the yellow isn't as intense, but the, the blue and the uh, magenta are pretty pretty bright. So we're going to get this board set up and get it outside and maybe answer some questions. So I'm going to get busy setting up the board here. Got to put down some ink first. So I'm not too worried about design. I'm just worried about putting some color down and go from there. So I'm going to do a couple drips of each color if they happen to blend next to to the color next to them that's fine and at the end of the video I'll put the colors I use also I'll put a photo down there But I keep on hearing this debate, you know, when I post things on different groups and forums and stuff like that, that um, about light fastness. Haha, <laughs> this blue's wanting to run. Don't go there. I don't think my board's level. Oh dear.
I'm gonna work in this zone here, give this stuff a chance to dry a little bit. Where is my little bitty alcohol? I don't see it. Okay, very carefully. A little less alcohol. Pinatas to the side. Now we're going to work with some Copic. I might do a couple of the yellow. It's more like a butterscotch color. So I do not know how it's going to work out. We will see. Now remember, I just pulled these from what I had on hand. I didn't go buy colors to match, but I wanted to kinda get the same color range. So what we're looking for is light fastness. In other words, does the color burn out and disappear and fade? That's what I was looking for, something a little bit more precise. Okay. All right, and then this is the Ranger, or Tim Holtz. Well, that's kind of like a butterscotch too. That looks a little bit too green. All right, I swapped that one color out and we got stream now. So we'll try that one. I'm trying to get a color similar to cyan. Doesn't have to be right on target. It just has to be similar. Magenta has wandered.
Okay, I just wanted there to be enough yellow, like on each one, and enough pink on each one, just to be able to see whether or not the sun has an effect with the different protection. So, that is the goal. Looks like a mess. I probably should have taped it off, and that might have been a little bit better as far as keeping them confined. But, um, I think we're good. And it also shows the blends and stuff and how it'll react with the blends. So, anyway, uh, next step is I'm gonna put a piece of paper over this, spray this whole thing with a Krylon, and then try and get the resin on just this area here and then put it out in the sun. So the next time you'll see me will be after it's been out in the sun for a week and then after it's been out in the sun for two weeks. So one week and two weeks. We should be able to know some, because I am in Texas, the sun's pretty brutal lately. So it should be a good test, good timing. All right, until then, later. Okay, so it's been three weeks with my test out in the sun. And uh, I'm gonna get this sucker out of here. Now I put it in a very sunny spot at our place. Uh, it was actually on the back of our AT uh, ATV, which is um, currently not working, so it wasn't moving. And uh, I was on the back of it, so it was out in the sun with no trees around whatsoever. So the only way it was going to get cloudy, I'm just tearing this bag apart. Let's just go for it. Yeah, the only way it was going to get any kind of cloudy situation was through, well, just clouds, to be honest with you. Uh, so no tree or building was covering that area up. So I think this was a good test. I'm gonna bring you in. And I think I'm gonna try out a couple more products. Um, I've heard there's a, some other light fast products as far as alcohol ink. And was it Aluminum Light that Stone Coat's now carrying? Uh, Malibu and I think there's some others. Um, epoxy candy or something like that. So I might do another test of three. So just a quickie overall, the top row is all pinata. This is just alcohol ink only. This is with a Krylon UV spray. I gave it about uh, maybe two or three coats. Um, and I have read recently that they recommend six coats. So I may retry this pinata one with six coats and see in three weeks if anything changes. Okay, so ink only. About three coats of UV spray and then this is 
three coats of UV spray plus the stone coat art coat resin. Excuse me. Okay, and this is Ranger inks, the UV spray, and UV spray spray plus the resin. And this is the Copic marker refills and Copic with a UV spray and then Copic with UV spray and resin. So really interesting. I'm gonna have side-by-side -side photos so that we can get a better idea. But I wanted to talk to you about this a little bit. Um, I'm gonna walk around the studio. There's no way to avoid this here. Maybe I'll cut this part out. Okay. So as an artist, and I kind of go back to this piece and all that to show people, I'm playing with alcohol ink. I'm fairly new to it. I consider myself new to it. And I'm really liking the way that alcohol ink and resin go together. It, it excites me. Okay, there's just no other way to put it. But here I am going to start investing time into it. And then I hear the whole phrase of alcohol ink isn't light fast. And it kind of freaks me out a little bit because as an artist, I don't want this to fade to nothing. That would, that would suck. So I'm going to continue to play with this and find out and explore to see a way of salvaging this. Or I need to change tact and use a different type of medium altogether. So we don't want to do that. We want to keep exploring because this is fun and I'm starting to find my style. So that's, that's the reason for me doing the experiment. So it's, it's, it's kind of self-preservation to help preserve the artwork I've created, uh, especially for those who made an investment in purchasing my artwork. You don't want to say, okay, keep it in the quiet, dark room and not enjoy it. You want to be able to say, you know, hang it up and enjoy it in your home. Um, so look for the, uh, the photos that should be coming next, and it'll give you side-by-side -side comparisons over the week. So enjoy, have fun, like, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, but definitely hit the notification bell so you know what I'm going to put up another video.